What is going on YouTube? Baylor here, back with another video. So it's that time of the year again, you know, everyone's coming off their bulking season and they're trying to think about ways to get in shape for the summer, you know, get lean. So I want to give you guys tips on how to diet more efficiently and effectively, both in the gym and in the kitchen. So let's get into it. All right, so what can you do in the gym to help yourself out in the kitchen? Because no matter what kind of weight loss program you're doing, no matter how extreme or how conservative it is, it all comes down to a caloric deficit. I don't care what anyone tells you, you can't target fat by a certain kind of exercise. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So by putting yourself in a caloric deficit, you're gonna lose weight. And so by doing certain things in the gym, you can help yourself achieve a caloric deficit much easier. So simple things like decreasing your rest times so that your heart rate is elevated and you burn more calories can help you do that. And a lot of people also like to utilize cardio as a common tool to diet because it can help you eat more but still be in a deficit so it's a little bit more enjoyable. So there's many different kinds of cardio and a lot of people have different debates on which one is better. Personally, I say find what suits you the best, do what you enjoy, because obviously cardio isn't fun, so doing something that you can you know, at least tolerate will make it a lot easier in the long run. Also, I'd recommend mixing up your types of cardio so that you don't get burnt out on something too quickly, and introduce cardio slowly, because if you start out with five sessions a week, it's gonna be much harder to continue doing that you know, 11, 12 weeks down the road. So it's important to remember longevity here, guys. Don't burn out too quickly. All right, so as far as the kitchen and nutrition is concerned, which is the most important part, there are many different opinions out there and they all come from very credible sources. But I wanted to offer my favorite tips, the things that have worked for me the most. So when I'm starting any kind of diet or cut, I like to start small, you know? Cut the things that are easy first. So in the first week or two, cut out cheese, cut out chocolate, cut out candy, because those small steps will help ease yourself into the diet process much, much easier. Um, something that kind of goes hand in hand with that as well is to spread your meals out a little bit more. Um, there's no scientific difference in your metabolic rate as eating three large meals as opposed to six, for example. But it all comes down to personal preference, you know, you can meal prep and then it kind of, sometimes it helps to see all six of your meals laid out in front of you at the beginning of the day. You know, when it comes down to it, it's all personal preference. So find out what works the best for you. Next tip is to make sure you're getting enough protein because your body likes to turn to muscles first for energy before it even looks at fat. So make sure you're feeding your muscles enough protein. Generally, I like to err on the side of too much as opposed to too little. So I recommend typically one gram per pound of body weight per day as far as protein is concerned. And lastly, guys, I would highly, highly recommend tracking your macros with some kind of macro tracking app. A lot of people think they can estimate it in their head, but what ends up happening is you cut corners and you end up eating too much or too little. So trust me, you're gonna wanna track your macros. So that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. I really, really appreciate you watching. Make sure you leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.